Hey you guys! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a really easy and delicious homemade sausage sausage gravy. It goes great with homemade biscuits and aside from tasting great and being easy, it is really a budget-friendly meal. So keep watching if you're interested in learning how to do it. I needed some non-copyrighted music, but I couldn't find any. So I had to make my own and I have no idea what I'm doing. So any kind of sausage, this is the original, but I have used the maple or hickory or whatever they have. Um, any kind will work. You just want to make sure that um, you taste it at the end because one time I started with a non-seasoned a non sausage and I didn't even know until after I tasted it for salt at the end. So just be sure that you know what it tastes like before you serve it up. So to start off, I am using a frozen one and so I am just putting it in the pan just as it is, chopping it up and trying to get it all into small pieces so that it can start cooking thoroughly. all of this oil that is what we're looking for and now it is time to add flour I'm gonna put about two tablespoons just sprinkle it on there like that so then you just want to work the flour into the oil and it's gonna start soaking it up and cooking it and you just want to make sure that you don't have any clumps you're basically making a roux and you just want to make sure that any clumps of flour are thoroughly cooked I'm gonna add a little bit more don't cry for me oh, I was singing the song okay looking good So I ended up adding a little bit more flour because I noticed that there was still some loose oil and what you're looking for is you want it to kind of be a little bit pasty looking. The roux is when the oil and the flour mix together and forms the base of your sauce, the base of your gravy. And so that is um, when it has too much oil in there then you just want to be sure to keep adding enough flour, not too much, but enough flour that it has the oil absorbed. And then I'm going to go ahead and start adding the milk and this will start thickening once you once it starts coming up to a simmer or a boil. I'm also adding about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce as well as a little bit of black pepper and the sausage already has um, flavor in it, it already has salt, but you do want to make sure that you check your salt to make sure that you're happy with it because um, depending on how much oil your um, pork lets out then you might have a lot of dilution because if you had to use extra flour then you might need to add more salt so just be sure to check your salt So at this point you can really see that the um, gravy is getting nice and thick and you can cook it longer if you want it thicker. My, um, Some of us like it thicker and some of us like it thinner so I usually serve up you know, the ones um, separate and then I'll add more milk later on to thin down for the ones, that, the ones of us that like the thinner gravy. I like the thinner gravy. Um, but yeah, you're basically done. So if you need a recipe for homemade biscuits that come out perfect like 100% of the time, then I will put a little info card here and I will also put a link in the description so you could find that video. You gotta check it out. If you guys liked this recipe, this is actually becoming one of my family's favorites. Pretty much we're not going through one weekend without having biscuits and gravy. It's super easy and really cheap to make. But anyways, if you guys liked this recipe, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave a um, comment down below, and thank you so much for watching. I needed some non-copyrighted music, but I couldn't find any, so I had to make my own. And 
I have no idea what I'm doing.